What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Morrow, and today I have a gear review on the Venom Hammer Limited Edition Lomachenko Training Gloves. Alright everybody, as always, I'm incredibly excited to bring you yet another gear review, and like I said, we have the limited edition Vasily Lomachenko Tailored Venom Hammer Pro Style Boxing Gloves. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So, Venom started making a bunch of boxing stuff about two years ago, and they released their Pro Boxing Glove line, I believe, about a year to a year and a half ago. And it took the world by storm, especially in the combat sport apparel and the MMA side, because Vasily Lomachenko signed with Venom. Why is that a big deal? Venom is like companies like Hayabusa, Fairtex, Top King. You see them a lot in MMA gyms and kickboxing gyms, but very rarely did you ever see them used in professional boxing. In professional boxing, people are really narrowing it down to about four brands, and that's Reyes, Grant, Everlast, Rival, and Winning. That's five. My fault. And Lomachenko was signed with Rival Boxing Equipment for the longest time, really since the start of his career. He used Rivals, my bad, uh, he used Reyes and he used Grant once or twice and then switched to Rivals right up until, I believe, his fight with Linares or the fight after Linares, he switched to Venom. And that took the whole world by shock because Rival was the brand of Lomachenko. You saw them come out with all their whole lines of Lomachenko stuff that was selling out like, like hotcakes. This is no exception. Uh, Venom made their own Lomachenko line, and they also have the Linares line. Now, per personally, I did not see uh, a Venom pair of pro fight gloves until Gerald Washington used them against Deontay Wilder. And I was shocked. And even coming from a guy, I did a brief, brief internship with Hayabusa. And when I was talking to them, they said, our boxing crowd is not all that good compared to the kickboxing and MMA crowd. Uh, so that's why I was shocked that a company like Venom got out there and grabbed someone like Lomachenko. So it definitely shows that people are willing to adapt. Now, this glove is based off of the professional hammer model, which they also have two other professional models, which is the Giant and the Shield which this is their puncher's gloves, the hammer. And it's just about the same exact thing. Lomachenko actually designed the training glove himself. Uh, the only difference really is when I called Venom to ask, uh, I actually had to because I wasn't sure. The outer shell is made of a different leather. I believe this is a hard Argentinian leather compared to the regular Napa leather. And I believe the padding is just about the same, but possibly layered differently. Uh, it's a very good glove. I'm actually really impressed. And I can't wait to do a full review on these. So without further ado, let's get into the look of the glove. Starting out with, we have Loma's classic colors of like a neon green and blue. Now for Rivals gear, it was yellow and blue. That's normally what uh, Lomachenko stuff was used. But if you look here, let me poke that part of the camera real fast. There you go. You see all that blue and neon green all the way throughout the top. You got that patented venom uh, fangs going off the side like the snake. The punch surface here says Venom, the finger surface rather, says Venom in blue in the nice uh, fang type logo. The punch surface is all that neon green until you get to the blue part here. It says Loma in neon green across the back and it has a bunch of these black little diamond holes, kind of like a diamond, uh, a diamond back uh, rattlesnake or something. So it looks like a snakeskin background to it. Uh, it also has that green fang going down the side once again. And then, of course, you got the Venom logo here. And I believe it says Pro Fight Gear or something. Venom Pro Boxing with a couple stars going across the top. And that's in black and neon green. You have a black wrist cuff. You also have the black palm with neon green thumb piping with a green thumb that says Loma right here with that black spots going all the way on that side. Oh, no, no black spots on the thumb, actually, my fault. And then on the other side, you have the big green that says Loma as well going this way. Now, the only difference with the other glove is that this glove 
the left glove says Loma, while the right glove says Venom going across right here. But everything is exactly the same, uh, except for them being on different sides. So you have the neon green on the left instead of the right, and the black on the right instead of the left, like you do on the left glove. So it's virtually the same exact glove, just different patterns on different sides and a different logo there. Now talking about the build of the glove and the design of the glove, once again, you actually got a pretty sleek uh, glove. It's really thin. And the first thing I'm gonna point out is actually, if you notice here, you can actually see a slight dip in the padding on the side. What that's been for is a tactic called uh, pinching. And although people don't really pinch quite as much, basically what you do is you come up and you tie up here on the glove with the lace instead of down here on the wrist cuff. You tie here, the reason why is because when you put the glove on, you, you wanna kinda of cut off all that blood pressure there. So, well not, not all the blood pressure, but you wanna cut off that part of the glove because that's where the top of your wrist actually lies in this glove, not here. This is the bottom of the wrist, this is where your top of the wrist is. So you can come up and pinch right here and it's easy to fasten and pinch because of how good uh, that little dip in the padding is. So that's a really nice touch. I like when companies do that. It does show that they're considerate of who's gonna be using these. People still do pinch quite a bit, especially when they use power locks. Um, but talking about the outer shell, once again, we got complete uh, hard Argentinian leather, it says, and it is very high quality leather and it has that new leather smell, and it feels really nice in the hand. Um, the one thing about it being a hard leather, which is true, you can tan leather to be a bit stiffer than most, like Reyes and, and Grant and a couple other companies winning use a, a softer tanning method, but this is for sure a harder, stiffer leather. The padding is nice multi-layer padding of high density shock absorbing foams and i'll even read what it says just because it said some scientific thing and it has exact specifics and i always like being as specific as possible so let's see multi-layered foams hds high density foam uh two layers shock absorption and shape of the glove so that's what shapes the glove and then high density eva foam of one layer durable and flexible material maximizing the impact. So basically underneath it, the EVA foam is what giving you that nice recoil back. It is a puncher's glove uh, and it feels really nice. And you can see it recoils like a sponge back and forth. And it has somewhat of a fight glove feel because at first when you push in and you feel the glove, you're like, man, my knuckle goes right through that. But when you put your hand on the inside of the glove, I actually can't feel my knuckles. It doesn't feel like my knuckles are piercing through like a hot knife through butter. It feels like its own glove and it feels like something that Venom made itself, which I always love saying that is that the company made its own thing. They didn't try copying other people. So I love seeing that, I love feeling that. Uh, then when we talk about the wrist cuff, uh, it's a very good supportive wrist and it is nice and soft if you are gonna tie it here. The laces are really good. These also do come in Velcro. But the laces are very good, they're all black, and they are very easy to manipulate, and they're very easy to get to. The laces uh, loosen very, very quickly and very easily. So when you're here, boom, perfect. And all the laces that you need are nice and wide. Speaking of nice and wide, if we look on the inside here, we have the standard, uh, not velvet, uh, the standard nylon mesh on the inside and that's always normally what you're going to get it's not a mesh because there's no holes but it's a nylon uh inside and it's very very antimicrobial and it's also very moisture wicking i actually noticed that my whenever i take my hand out of these it does not stay moist for more than a couple minutes which is something that's crazy so long as you're wearing hand wraps of course uh towards the top of the fingers it's the same exact feeling as all the others uh the grip bar is very very nice uh, it's a nice soft grip bar which is something i actually like I like softer grip bars because I don't really feel like I'm gripping. I don't want to feel like I'm gripping more other than my hand wraps, but I'm here and, and feeling that and it feels just a little bit softer than any other part of the glove. The thumb has a really good contour. Uh, it's more of like a winning thumb and you can tell because it's actually separated here. Uh, it's a, a separate seam, which is always to tell that it's a separate uh, thumb. That way you have that complete free motion. Uh, if you are into Muay Thai, this glove does open very well, which I wouldn't expect anything less from a Thai company like Venom to have a very good well opening glove. It's also good if you like to parry shots quite a bit 
And once again, it has a really good grip. I've used these in MMA sparring, and I do love them for MMA sparring. Uh, they do take a good while to break in. I will say it took me about a good two weeks because, once again, the leather is a little stiff, and the padding is very stiff when you first get it. So for sure, break it in for a couple weeks before you use it. Uh, that's really my own, only complaint as far as that goes right in the uh, initial breakdown. But the leather doesn't scuff whatsoever uh and the other thing about the design is that you can also tell that although the padding's there most companies don't make it very obvious but there is a type of dip uh over the glove that keeps it protected that keeps the leather protected because leather does stain pretty easy and it does mark and scuff because it is a membrane it is skin you know if i stab my hand and rake it that way it's gonna hurt or if i go across something like a bag and then twist like you know you twist when you punch stuff same thing's gonna happen with this it's gonna scuff up my knuckles it's gonna scuff up this so you can definitely see that there is a clear plastic coating or something over this it might not be plastic but it's definitely a type of melted material that they dip the glove in or they might have sprayed it on as well uh, it feels very comfortable on the inside there's a lot of room on the inside of this glove both sideways and towards the top the finger is very comfortable it's very padded on the inside of the glove on the back of my hand and on the wrist and when i tighten this let me fix that there boom it's nice and comfy. No matter how tight I pull, it doesn't feel like anyone's cutting off too much circulation. And whenever I use these on the mitts with my coach and he ties them up tight, it feels awesome. Uh, right around the wrist cuffed area, like I said, it sinks in really well. You know, right towards here, if you can see the little black lace right here. And it sinks in really well on my wrist and it also pinches very well. I, I, I tried the pinching and honestly, the pinching, I don't really mind it. I don't really notice that much of a difference to be honest with you, but the pinching does work just fine. Uh, so if that's something that you do, if you pinch your glove, go for it. Uh, but without further ado, not only do the gloves look cool, oh, right, the stitching, and the stitching is a double line stitching, sorry about that, if you can see all the double lines going across here, and it's a very neat stitching, and one thing I'll say about the stitching is that not one stitch has frayed quite yet, so overall, they're very easy to clean, nothing's gone wrong with them quite yet, but let's go into me hitting the bag, and of course, your sparring view. So these gloves have a unique feature in that, once again, they are they have a punter's feel but at the same time it just it feels like each and every shot is like sinking into a nice body shot not just because of the bag i'm on but all the time whether or not i'm hitting a stiffer bag whether or not i'm hitting a sparring partner or the mitts it just feels like i'm making real contact like i i know for a fact that i am hitting flush with each and every shot and i think every puncher is going to enjoy those uh they are pretty good protective and they are pretty like gloves uh surprisingly uh but everything about it feels like a very light compact glove and i can tell you right now it has excellent hand protection especially for bag and mitt work so like all Venom gloves, these look amazing, but just because they have that added cool design to it between the Loma uh, logos on the back of them and everything, it's just one of the coolest looking gloves I think I've ever had. Uh, you know, you see all the glare from the leather coming off, you see all the fine little details within the black dots on the back the the blue shines a certain way off the light and it's the same thing with everything with the venom gloves so i think you're gonna enjoy punching people i think you're gonna enjoy getting punched by these all right folks my final verdict on these gloves is i love them Honestly, I had my doubts when I bought these. I always get I always get impulse buys when it comes to limited edition stuff, especially when they are signed by someone as high standard as, as Lomachenko, because the rival stuff went like hotcakes. People bought them left and right without any questions. Now, I had never tried Venom's uh, Pro line. I had heard good things. I had not met anyone that really used them quite yet. I had seen videos from uh, from other guys like CS Squared Boxing. Go check his uh, channel out. He's awesome. Same thing for uh, Fit to Box had these. And all I can say is um, he also has a great channel. Go check him out. Um, these gloves are great. I, I really do like them. I think that Venom for sure sat down and did their research with people uh, like Lomachenko and like other professional boxers to say, hey, what do you actually like in a glove? Instead of saying, hey, we have this specific model, we're gonna shove it down your throat. Thing is, boxers like bigger gloves. You know, a lot of kickboxing and MMA gloves are much thinner in profile. This is a bit of a wider glove towards the top, but it is still a thin, um, you know, fit as far as the bottom goes. But definitely the punch surface is a little bit wider compared to other things. 
I'm incredibly amazed at, at Venom making these because I've tried other Venom gloves that were on the lower part of the totem pole. And for sure, I wasn't really as much impressed as I was with other gloves. I have one other limited edition pair by Venom that's a Giant 2.0. And I thought they were not bad, but they were for sure, uh, you know, I thought slightly overpriced. Now, the price point with these is $300 when it comes to these. And you can get the regular uh, hammers for $220 to $250, but depending on your color scheme. But you're paying the extra $50, not because it's... A different material entirely although it is Argentinian leather on the outside which might add something to it but I don't know I've never tried the regular uh, hammer one day I will get the regular hammers um, but do I think they're worth it I definitely think I would rank these in the same category as Reyes as Grant as winning as rival and as Everlast I definitely think it's cool that you know now you're not just seeing you know four or five different really good brands you're starting to see a bunch of different good brands and venom's definitely staking their claim to this because they made their own standard glove it does not feel like another glove to me it feels like a venom hammer pro boxing glove and that's something really cool though i think it's overpriced for the for the glove that you're getting if you're paying 300 bucks for this for the lomachenko thing no if you're paying for a regular one and you don't care about lomachenko Yes, it is slightly overpriced. I would definitely say if you put these at about 200 bucks, I, I'd buy these every single day of the week and not hesitate about it. I'd also say that, uh, you know, the regular gloves, because of the color scheme, it does cost a little bit more to print it, and it also does cost a little bit more to have someone's speci uh, special logo on this. I mean, I guarantee uh, Venom's paying Lomachenko something, at least a good 10% of each and every go or 5% out of each and every glove shipped and made. But do I think $300 are worth it for the glove? I pay $300 again for these. I use these every day. I like them a lot. I think they offer great support. I think the padding's well thought out. And I think everything about the glove is well thought out. Here's who it doesn't fall under for. Like most of the gloves I've reviewed so far, if you have brittle hands, Go for the Shield or go for the Giant because from what I understand, the Giant somewhat of the hybrid. The Shield is more of like the Grant slash winning glove. That's more for your uh, knuckles and stuff. This is for sure a puncher's glove. And I will say at first when you take these out of the box, you're going to think it's like a pro fight glove because it feels thin and the padding feels thin. But once you break it in, which in fairness did take me a good two weeks before I would even think about sparring with these, is that uh, the padding is very stiff. And it does not feel as thick as other ones, but it does deceive you because when you put it in, you think, man, I'm going to hurt my knuckles because it has very thin padding. I cannot feel my knuckles and I'm pushing as hard as I can right now. In fact, my arms just got sore from pushing really hard just now. So it has good knuckle support. If you're a puncher, it has very good knuckle support, but it recoils and comes off naturally like a puncher's glove would, and you for sure get nice, good popping sounds off the bag, off the mitts, whatever it might be. The glove is very, very well made, and it's one thing that I, I can say about other gloves out there that try and replicate something like this that don't do the job as well for these. Um... When it comes to the material, once again, it's very, very durable. Uh, I, I've had these for a month now. I bought these a month ago, and there's not a scuff. There's not a mark. I haven't even had to clean these yet. The inside doesn't smell. The outside smells the same. Everything about the glove is very good. Uh, you know, all I can say is, once again, it just takes maybe two, two and a half weeks to really break this glove in if you're going to use it for sparring, since it is an overall training glove. But as far as the mitts in the bag goes... Man, it's a very comfortable glove. Uh, it doesn't pinch my fingers at all when I hit. It doesn't hurt my knuckles at all when I hit. My thumb is always comfortable. It's an extremely comfortable glove, which is why people are going to be maybe a little upset at me for giving another glove such a high standard. For me, this is personally slowly becoming one of my favorite gloves out there. Uh, I give this glove a 10 out of 10 for someone like me. I think, you know, the price point... For a collector like me is there, I think 300 bucks for the extra Lomachenko stuff is fair. I think if you're doing it as a regular fan of boxing or a regular participant in boxing, definitely just go with a regular hammer. That's the same exact thing. That has virtually the same exact outer lining, uh, the same exact padding on the inside. All the difference is is the color scheme. So the Venom Hammer Pro in general is a perfect glove for someone that's doing this, you know, five, six, seven days a week. That's sparring, that's hitting the bag, that's doing a bunch of stuff. 
Uh, don't use these if you're not wearing hand wraps because I'll tell you right now, you will break your hand if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't have strong hands. Uh, I know some some people that don't wear hand wraps, which is still beyond me, but that's going to ruin the inside of the glove, and I'm going to tell you right now, it will hurt without hand wraps. I personally tried it once, just like I always try with every glove, and I, I can only hit for a couple seconds. I can hit bare knuckle fine, but I can't with, with gloves and weird padding. I don't know what that is. Um, but these gloves are very well made they're very well thought out if you are a puncher looking for your next step glove definitely look into the venom hammer i personally love these it might not mean you love these but i can for sure tell you if you got brittle hands stay away from them if you don't like throwing big shots or, or throwing multiple volume stay away from these uh, I would also say that if you are not into the gaudy look, I guess you could say, I think they look awesome, uh, stay away from them. I think they're worth every penny. But if I had to give it for a personal thing, I think it's a 10 out of 10 for what I like. But if I had to give it an overall rating for everybody and who it will follow, because I had a couple people in my gym try these and, and two people agreed with me out of the 10 out of 10 thing. But most people, others that try to say they didn't like that the padding was a little bit too thin for them or they didn't like that it felt, you know, like they were hitting too much or something. And, and although I don't feel my knuckles go through when I punch stuff, you know, quite like a regular puncher, it just recoils off really well. It kind of gives you that forced recoil. It might it might deter some people from that. Uh, so overall, I give it a good 8 out of 10 just because it might only follow a certain crowd, okay? So folks, that is my review here on the Venom Hammer Limited Edition Lomachenko gloves. I think Vasily Lomachenko and Venom Fight Gear did a phenomenal job with these gloves and I for sure have a new top five favorite up there and it is for sure the Venom Hammer Pros. I'm definitely going to get a regular pair of Venom Hammers and review those one of those days to see if there is a big difference but these are for the Venom um, uh, limited edition Loma Chanko. I'll post a link in the description where you can buy these. I'm pretty sure they're still in stock. Get them while they last because trust me, they'll be gone soon. Uh, so folks, I'm Al Morrow with the Combat Corporation. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and of course, always leave your thoughts below and I will respond to you as soon as possible. I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good day.